first of all uh we have a user and uh, let us say he is sitting on the internet so this is internet and uh, trying to access a website that is hosted on the aws cloud so this website is hosted on the aws cloud and uh, there are two servers one is the primary server and uh, the second one is the secondary server now there can be one elastic load balancer in between which is distributing the traffic towards the primary server and the secondary server okay now let us say he is trying to access a website all right that is www dot eduism because that's the domain name i have purchased from godaddy eduism dot co all right so uh the request can come to the primary server or it can come to the uh, elastic load balancer and then elastic load balancer will route the traffic between the primary server and the secondary server the brief architecture this is the brief architecture how things work duism.com level domain name server it uh, checks into the authoritative domain server it also checks into the example.com authoritative dns server uh, fetched so the route 53 53 comes from the name because uh, this uh, uh, route uh, 53 service works on the port number 53 that is the port number for dns okay so that is one thing so this is once again a cycle a user is sitting on the computer and uh, he is looking for a website www.example.com the request comes to domain name server and domain name server if it has the records it will forward it if it does not have it will say i don't know and uh, i will ask the authority server so authority server is when the request goes to route 53 and uh, route 53 reverts back with the ip address of the example website and uh, it forwards it to dns resolver and finally the dns resolver forwards it to users so as discussed it is a highly available and scalable domain name system web service it effectively connects user request to res, uh, infrastructure running in aws such as ec2 elbs s3 buckets and we can also route the users to infrastructure outside of aws so that is something which we are going to see right now it is fast easy to use and cost effective it answers the dns queries with low latency by using a global network of dns servers and if you need a domain name we can find an available name and register it using route 53 so these are some key takeaway points now it is reliable fast integrated with aws easy to use cost effective and flexible it is uh, reliable because uh, it works on the concept of edge locations so there are 54 edge locations supported by aws and uh, it can be managed using command line interface as well it is quite cheap and it follows the round robin scheduling so 
if the request is coming on to the elastic load balancer it has the capability of uh, following the round robin scheduling to distribute the traffic among the various servers we can run application in multiple aws uh, regions and route users to the one so in case of failover okay let us say that uh, this server stopped working and uh, this entire infrastructure is in mumbai region okay and uh, we can fail over to a server that is in singapore region using route 53 so any request that is coming to the primary server will be rerouted to the failover server in the singapore region so that is what i am going to perform the practical demonstration so you can see that okay so that is one thing and uh, it follows the concept of hosted zones and uh, record sets so what exactly is the hosted zone so let me show you right now now we have a website called uh, mail.google.com then we have uh, something called as uh, contacts dot google dot com and uh, we have uh, drive dot google dot com and uh, we have uh, uh, photos google dot so these are basically the record set for a single hosted zone that is google.com so hosted zone here is google dot com this is the host hosted zone i'm sure you enjoyed learning from this video please like the video and if you have any doubts regarding this video please comment us in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos to look out for other related videos in our playlist for more information visit our website now keep learning with intellipat